Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 30, Quaternions, Part 4. And let's go ahead, we're going to have a few more definitions here for the difference and the dot product. So the difference is going to be defined as the angular displacement from one orientation to another. So if we have orientations A and B, we can compute the angular displacement D, which rotates from A to B. Uh, so A, D is equal to B. Solving it, we're going to solve for D. So we have this formula here. We're going to multiply by the inverse of A. We have to put on both sides of the same position. Uh, we're going to use association here to change where our parentheses are. Recalling that that is uh, the inverse multiplied by the uh, quaternion itself is the identity. And therefore, we have D is equal to the inverse uh, of A times B. Note mathematically, it's closer to division than it is an actual difference. So there's not actually a subtraction here, but uh, that's just the definition we're going with here. The dot product is very similar to the vector dot product. So if we have q1 dot q2, in the shorthand version, we'll have w1 w, uh, v1 dot w2 v2, and then we'll just have the answer is w1 w2 plus v1 dot v2. Uh, and then over here, uh, on the other side, we'll have, in the expanded form, w1, x1, y1, z1. Uh, and it looks like I have a, an error here, excuse me, is equal to uh, times, or dot, excuse me, that equal should sign should be gone, w2, x2, y2, z2. And that's going to equal w1, w2, plus x1, x2, plus y1, y2, plus z1, c2. So note that these are... Uh, in the expanded form, obviously, these are already multiplied out versus it's still a dot product up here. And then this equals sign should be gone. Sorry about that. A few notes. It's like the vector dot product. The result is a scalar. Uh, if you have unit quads A and B, the A dot B is going to be between negative 1 and uh, 1, equal to or between. Uh, interested in absolute value of A dot B because A dot B is going to equal to a negative A dot negative B. And the geometric uh, interpretation is similar to the vector dot product. The larger the absolute value, the more similar the angular displacement of A to B. That's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give a subscription and a like. Share on social media, if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and send for an Thanks. Have a great one.